need another tuning note or are you good okay great we're going to learn B major scale today B is in boy and Audia one of our wonderful interns has put together an instructional video for us give me a thumbs up if you can see Audia on your screen all right here we go Hi everybody, I'm Adia and this is an instructional video. Today we're going to be playing the scales B major and G sharp minor. The only difference between normal G sharp minor scale and this G sharp minor scale is that this one is a harmonic scale. So we're going to be raising the seventh note in each octave. And my lower instruments, when we reach the second octave, I want you guys to go back down and the rest of us will go back up. Before we get started, can B flat, somebody tell me what the B flat instruments will be starting on? C sharp. Good, C sharp for our B flat instruments. What will our E flat instruments be starting on? G. Sorry, it cut out. Somebody? G sharp. Yeah, G sharp, good. Uh, or A flat, also known as A flat. And somebody else tell me what our F instruments will be starting on. Anybody? F sharp. Yeah, F sharp, good. So our horns will be starting on their F sharp. Great, here we go. For my violins, I want you guys to start the B major scale in second position. So put your finger on B on the G string and then put your first finger where your B would normally be. Right there. Does that make sense for all the violins? Alex, do you have any additional advice for our uh, violas? That's a good thing for our violas, too. All right. So everybody, make sure that you're in, was that second position on the G string? Okay. 
Is that right? Okay, great. Here we go. Okay. I guess I should have asked cellos. Do we have any advice for cellos? Caleb here. Caleb, do you have any additional advice for your cellos? Um, sorry, I just got here. What key are we in? Um, this is, uh, they're doing a B major scale, B as in boy. Um, yeah. Um, uh, start in second position. So your first finger, first finger will be where your two would be on the G string. Right, great. So same thing for the violins and for the violas. Great, here we go. The metronome is going to be at 76 beats per minute, if any of you wanted to know. Are ready? One, two, three, four. G sharp minor harmonic scale. I want you to start find G sharp on the D string and then move your second finger to where that G sharp would be so right there. All right, any uh, additional advice from Alex or Caleb for that? If you're doing two octaves, you can start I don't know what position this is designed. It's like a high third position. Um, and if you're doing two octaves, that'll just all line up. Um, you won't have to do any shifts. If you're not doing a shift, you can play that in half position. Just make sure that if you play it in that position, you have an extended three here before you hit that G, right? To hit the, the harmonic seven, right? So. Awesome, thank you. Caleb, do you have any additional advice? Nope, that's good. Okay, good. So if we're on G sharp harmonic minor concert pitch, what will my B flat instruments be starting on? F sharp. Mm, other way. So if it's concert G sharp, what note will my B flat instruments be starting on? A-sharp. Yeah, also known as B-flat, right? Okay, good. Uh, what about my E-flat instruments? What are you going to start on if the note is concert G-sharp? What are you going to start on? F. F. The E-flat instruments finally catch a break. It's F. Yep, good. And how about my horns? What will you be starting on? Ian, do you know what you'll be starting on? Ian Hickey? I know Ian's here. I just saw him a little bit ago. Okay, Ian. I'm, I'm here again. I was trying okay. to make settings work. Oh, okay. Ian, do you know what note you'll be starting on if it's a concert G sharp harmonic minor scale? Uh, 
Oh, G sharp harmonic minor. Okay, so it goes from. Uh, is it a uh, uh, B sharp? Wait, no, hold on. As a F sharp. B sharp. Hold so if it's A flat harmonic minor, what note will you be starting on? What's the concert A flat? Oh, we're doing A flat harmonic minor, sorry. Right. Um wait, wait. so so uh for me that's uh, uh if we're starting on an A if we're doing an A flat harmonic minor, uh then my note transpose is that that's a E flat. Yeah, good, good. Your E flat. Sorry, I was confused at the uh, at the question that was That's being asked. okay. That's okay. I'm a little bit out of it. I apologize. No worries. You do not need to apologize. All right. Great. We're all on the same page here. Everyone go ahead and make sure you're muted and let's get started with G sharp, also known as A flat harmonic minor. Remember it's a minor scale, but we're going to raise the seventh note in each octave. Watch my fingers. That's it. Hope you guys have a good day. All right. Thank you so much for that, Audia. Great job with that. Everybody do okay on the scale? All right. Cool. Okay. Good. Good. Let's move on. We're doing snitching in the kitchen today, in case you didn't know that. Snitching in the kitchen. Yeah. I hope you're as excited about this as me. First thing we're going to do is go over the choreography at the beginning of this thing. So that's why I wanted you all to tune in with your cell phones. We're going to practice this today from whatever room that you're in. You don't have to be in your kitchen, okay? But you'll want to turn your backgrounds off if you have special backgrounds on. Um, that'll help us with what we're doing, okay? You can turn them right back on as soon as we're done. So go ahead and turn your backgrounds off, those of you with those on, and watch this while you're turning your video off. I went through today and um, kind of figured out how to do this so that I could teach you. So... on a second while I pull this up. So you'll have to ignore like my messy office, but you'll get the idea. All right. All right, give me a thumbs up when you can see my screen. Okay. Here we go. Watch this video so you guys know what you're doing. I did this today. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Snitching in the kitchen. Get your camera turned on here. You're gonna hear Hold on, sorry. four beats of click and then you'll clap.
Okay. Did you did you kind of see what's going on there? Yeah, a little bit. So you'll notice at the beginning, like he starts, he's talking, and then he says, "Get your camera turned on." Right now, we already have our cameras turned on because we're just in through one one thing. Now, if you tuned in th with two devices, you can actually do. You can keep your your main device on with your audio sound coming through that, and then you can just do the video right now with your cell phone, okay? Okay, but just keep it all on mute for right now. When he says, um, you're gonna hear four clicks and then you're gonna clap, you can just pat your leg, your hand on your leg, or you can snap or something like that, okay? If you're holding the phone with one hand, it's kinda hard to clap, I found. So, if you're holding the phone, you just snap or pat on your leg, okay? The visual actually isn't important there because that's not really the, the video. The video doesn't start until measure four if you look at your music, okay? All right. Um, before you do this, you have to take your instrument, like, apart a little bit. So, you see I had my bell. If you're like me and your instrument's been put together for, like... <laughs> four months now because you haven't had to put it in a case and take it anywhere. It was really hard to get this bell off. <laughs> so, um, if you have a string instrument, just set your bow down, okay? You don't have to take anything apart. But if your instrument comes apart, you can take your mouthpiece off, you can, you can take your slide off. You have quite a bit of time, as you heard on the, on the recording, okay? So just take something take your bell off. Um, you could take your neck strap off and then, you know, come pick that up or something. If you're not sure what to do, speak now. Okay, so go ahead and set part of your instrument somewhere right now. It doesn't have to be right where you're sitting. It can be somewhere else in the room. Just find a safe place and put part of your instrument there. Go ahead and do that now. can be your mallets. You can put your bow one place and your instrument another. Yeah, with bassoon, I would just put your reed somewhere. <laughs> okay, with, uh, I wouldn't want to get too... Just like put it right in half and then put that somewhere. You could, yep. Just be super careful with okay. that reed, you know. I don't want to be at fault for this. Hashtag not liable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those reeds are too expensive. Okay, cool. Everybody's got something put in a place. All right, here we go. Um, take your cell phone in your hands. Walk over to a light switch. If your switch turns on and off the light that you're in, turn it off, okay? We're going to start with it off. Right? Now, you're going to, you can go out in the hallway and then walk into the room, or you can just start in the room and then walk up to the light switch, whichever you want to do. We're going to experiment right now. Again, I know this is not the kitchen, so it's okay. Right? Okay, I'll walk you through this as we do this with the recording. We'll do it a couple times. Can everybody see my screen? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try this a few times. I'll walk you through it as we go. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Snitching in the kitchen. Okay, before we get started, put your camera on the rear facing camera as if you're recording uh, somebody else, not yourself. So not the selfie camera, but the forward facing camera. We'll start and stop this as we go through it the first time. So I shouldn't see your faces. I should see your room, basically, whatever room you're in. Okay? Yeah, if you're if you're in two different devices, that's fine. Okay. All right. And Nadia, do you have another device on? Um, I'm getting it on my phone right now. Okay, cool. All right. Mark, you have another device on?
Um, no. Um, I'm using I'm using my camera right now. I downloaded it, but whenever I try to join, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Um, just make sure you're clicking the right date. Sometimes that doesn't work. All right, cool. Well, let's just go ahead and practice. Even if your camera isn't working right now, hold the cell phone and, and pretend like it is, okay? All right, here we go. So you're going to stand up and get ready to walk over towards the light switch. You can start in the hallway or in your room. Here we go. Get your camera turned on here. You're going to hear four beats of click, and then you'll clap. on your light switch, okay? So from the time when you clap or click or pat, you actually have five measures of 4-4 four, four before you'll hear that sound that you click on the light switch, okay? Let's try that much again. Here we go. All right, all Back right, here we go, here we go. Snitching in the kitchen. Get your camera turned on here. Back up to where you were, because you'll have lots of time. Here we go. You're going to hear four beats of click, and then you'll clap. Everybody make sure you're muted. Somebody's not muted right now. I'm hearing an echo. All right, here we go. All right, walk towards your light switch. Yeah, good. That's where I should see everybody's lights turn on. Okay? All right. Let's try that one more time. I'm not going to say anything this time. Well, I might still say something. Here we go. Hey, Sean. Are we supposed to be right. hearing something? Because I can't hear anything. You can't hear it? No. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? No. I would can just any... go and base off of your verbal cues. <laughs> can anybody else hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, me too. I can hear it, too. No, I can hear it. Well, I can't hear it. I'm on yeah, my phone, so that might be something about that. Okay. I was going to say, I also can't hear it. So. I'm yeah, hear I it. also can't hear it. I can hear, hear it talking, but not the music. Oh, that's interesting. Some of you can, and some of you can't. Okay. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Let me just try to reshare it. I don't know why that might be. Make sure that your audio, like you had muted the audio earlier when I told you to on your phones. So make sure that it's not, if you can hear my voice, I wouldn't think that's the issue. Um, so Sean noticed on some devices is even though you can hear a voice, they can't um, do what you're playing over your screen share. Yeah, that's the issue. You don't need to. I'm just recording. Um, so I I joined on my phone, but oh, I can't hear you on my phone. Yeah, that's what somebody else said. Can you can you oh. hear my voice and just not the screen share? Uh, no, I can look. I can see the screen and everything. Like I can see everyone, but I just can't hear it from here. Okay, well, um, if you have your other device on, just turn the audio up on that device. Okay. Yeah, if you have two devices, that might be the best way to deal with this. Yeah, it'd be best if you can hear it, but, but if you can't hear it through the, you know, figure it out. I'll, I'll still do the verbal cues then, okay? Okay. So just make sure you're muted on your uh, devices. Oh wait, so now, now it works. On What's that? Now it works. Now, now, now. It's coming out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, so if you have sound coming out of both of your devices, it'll do that. That's what I figured out. 
Jesus. Okay, cool. Let's try it then. You guys have got to stop annotating on my screen. You're killing me. All right. Alright. You're getting it on your phone? Okay, cool. Alright, let's try it a couple times. Here we go. Alright, alright. All right. Here we go, here we go. Snitching in the kitchen. Get your camera turned on Get here. Get your camera turned on. You're gonna hear four beats of click, and then you'll clap. Four clicks. One, two, three, four. Clap. Two, three, four. Now we start walking towards decorations <laughs> all right here we go from the beginning make sure your lights off turn your light off your lights on turn it off all right here we go all right all right here we go here we go snitching in the kitchen get your camera turned on here you're gonna hear four beats of click and then you'll clap one, two, three, four. Clap, two, three, four. Now walk towards the light switch slowly. Finger, two, four, on. Back to your face. Find your instrument. Put the instrument together. to flip the camera I don't on my phone when I'm recording um, I don't know if you do if you have an option to flip the camera click the camera flip when you set your camera down so that then it sees you okay if you don't have that option do what I did on my video I literally turned my cell phone around so that it it actually was I can't see myself but the camera could see me okay but do whatever you have to do so that once you get your instrument put together, then you turn the camera so that it shows you at that point, okay? So I didn't say that at the beginning. That's my fault. Let's try that one more time with all those things. Do you need me to say more or less? Can you hear the track now? Tell me where you're at. Yeah, at least we still can hear it. Yeah, we can. 
You can't hear it? Yeah. Are you guys on the same device you normally are, Martonio? Yeah. And you can't hear the track? Yeah, I can't hear the track. It's so weird. Like, I can hear you, but I can't hear the track. Really. Yeah. Who, who can or can't hear the track? I can. I did it on my computer and I joined in with my phone on Zoom and it both, both of them work. Both of them work? I wonder why some people can't hear it today. I can hear both. Okay. All right. You've got both. Both of them work on, on me too. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't know why that's not working. You know what you might try, Martonio, is logging out and then logging back in. Okay. Is Martonio the only one that can't hear the track now, or can anyone else not hear it? I still can't. I'm playing around with the settings to see if it's in there. Okay. I couldn't before, but now I can. Now you can. Okay, good. I figured out if you're on, like, the screen share screen, then the audio will play, but if you're on your phone and you swipe with, like, you see the other screens, then it won't play. So make sure you're on the main screen where the screen share is at. Oh, that's good now. to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's make sure to tell Martonio that when he comes back. Um, Caleb, are you here still? Yes. Did you hear that? Um, when you went over to the screen share, yes. Yeah, so Mackenzie said as long as you're you're on the screen that shows the screen share, you'll hear the screen share. Okay. Yeah, but you can't go to where it shows everybody, because then you won't hear it. Okay, that is really good to know. Okay, Mar Martonio, um, did you hear uh, Mackenzie, what she just said? Kind of, I heard part of it, but... So she said, on your screen, you have to be on the screen, the part, you have to swipe to the part that shows the screen share, or else you won't hear the screen share. So okay. don't be on the part that shows all the people. You have we're to be on. on the part that shows the screen share. We're on the yeah, screen we're on. Okay, yeah. all right. So well, hopefully that'll that'll work this time. All right, let's try it. Everybody, mute your microphones, and let's try it again. So turn your lights off. Take your instruments apart. All right, and t make your camera so that you're showing not yourself. Here we go. Oh, Mackenzie, you're gonna make me cry. I, I know. <laughs> I put her on my desk because I just found her, so I thought that'd be a good little yeah. momentum right now. Yeah, that was good. All right, here we go. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Snitching in the kitchen. Get your camera turned on here. You're going to hear four beats of click, and then you'll clap. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Slowly walk towards your light. You can kind of turn your camera around, you know, turn it to show stuff. Yeah, like Andrew's doing that. We didn't get everybody, everybody didn't turn on their lights at the same time. So that's probably my fault. Wait, I have a question. Yes, Mark. Do you like get your like bow out of a hidden place first or do you turn on the lights first? So you'll turn on the light first and then you'll go find your bow. Okay. Yep. All right. So let's try this again. Turn your lights off. So remember, you'll hear, um, Martonio, are you hearing the clicks now? Are you hearing the track now? 
No, I, I still can't hear it. Too. Okay, I'll keep talking you through it then. All okay. right, here we go from the beginning. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Snitching in the kitchen. Get your camera turned, camera turned on, on here. You're going to hear four beats of click, four and then you'll clap. One, two, three, four. Clap, two, three, four. Now walk towards your leg. Turn it on. Now head back to your spot. Find the instruments. Where's your parts of the instrument? It's hard to do while you're holding your phone right now. Then set your, set your camera down so it's showing you. Put your instrument together. Can we go on and then put it, just put it with the rest of the parts that we practiced here in a little bit? Go on. Okay, let's do it. Good job, everybody. We've already rehearsed everything from A to B to C, all of that stuff. Um, so I want to play through from the beginning right now all the way to letter D, and then we're going to stop and discuss. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So go ahead and... <laughs> Go ahead and take the instrument apart a little bit. Turn your lights off. Go back to your starting positions. And we will this time go all the way to letter D. All right. So what I'm finding, I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, you, you hold the, the phone, you turn the light on, you go back to your spot, you grab the instrument part, but then you have to set the phone down and turn the camera around to get the instrument together, right? Are you guys finding that to be the case? Okay, so we set the, set the phone down, turn the camera around, and then put the instrument together. You have a lot of time to do it, so. Aw, Zane, cute cat. Okay, here we go. From the beginning, ready. Ready's ready? All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Snitching in the kitchen. Get your camera turned on here. Make sure your lights are off. You're gonna hear four beats of click, and then you'll clap. One, two, three, four. Clap, two, three, four. Walk towards your leg. Thank you. 
okay? Okay. All right, cool. So, um, we can do that section again here in a little bit, but for now, let's just go on. At letter D, we have lots of little two-measure solos. So, I want to give people a chance to solo here who... Maybe you don't want to do a lot of improvisation. Maybe you just want to only, like, try two measures. You know what I mean? Or one measure. That's really what it kind of comes out to. Um, so, it, or you can just play the little written solos. Is there anybody that just wants to try a little tiny bit of solo? Mm -hmm. Connie? Landon, you probably want like a long solo, right? So these are just the two measure solos right now. We have some longer 16 measure solos coming up. So, Connie, you want to try one? Okay, Connie, who else wants a little two measure? Olivia? Um, I have a question. Yeah, what's the question? Uh, whether it's short or long, uh... Are we allowed to do a solo on an instrument that's, like, not our main instrument? Yeah, yep, you can improvise on a different instrument. That's totally fine. I have my MIDI keyboard. If it sounds too synthy, will it blend with the uh, background track too much? If it sounds too synthy, yeah, it probably will. Okay. Uh, I was just wondering because I wanted to know what sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, Landon, I'll, I'll probably put you on one of the longer solos, okay? Um, who wants one of these just short two-measure solos? Are these two measures somewhere in D to E? Yeah, it's from, yeah, from D to E. Okay, but I'll take one. Okay, who is this talking? Andrew. Andrew, all right. And then I just saw something. Kelly wants to do the last one. So it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Seven, so, basically. I'm going to do the last there. one that is um, 70, 77 to 79. Okay, cool. Yep, you've got that one. And then, so we've got three more. Who else wants, I've got Connie, Olivia, Andrew, and Kelly. Who else wants to do one? Bernard, do you want to try one? Could it be Yola do one? Yeah, Viola can do one. You want to do one, Jamie? Yeah. Okay, great. Jamie, you're fourth. So you're. So I'll tell you guys the measure numbers in just a second here. Bernard, did you say you wanted to do one? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, who else? Anybody else want to do a two measure solo? Christian, you want to do two measures? Okay, Christian, and then Zane, did you say you wanted to do too? All right, Zane. So here's what we'll do. Uh, measures 66 and 67 will be Connie, right? Measures 68, so I'll say it the other way, sorry. Olivia, you'll do measures 68 through 69. Andrew, you'll do measures 70 through 71. Jamie, you'll do measures 72 through 73. Christian, you'll do measures 74 through 75. Zane, you will do 76 through 77. And Kelly, you will do 78 through 79. Does anybody not like where their solo is and want to trade with somebody else? Well, I actually had a question. Sure. Um, which Christian are you talking to? Oh yeah, Christian. Uh, I was talking to you. Yeah, Christian okay. and Carnado. I was just making sure. Thanks. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, cool. So, um, I see some things in the chat. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, so, um, everybody else will play those backgrounds from D to E. Bop, 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 bop. Make sense? But not the notes I just sang, of course. Okay? For people who have a two-measure solo, uh -huh. um, 
you want us playing backgrounds where we don't solo? Um, yeah. It just, in the two measures where you're soloing, you do not have to play the backgrounds. But then when you're done with your solo, go ahead and play the backgrounds on the rest of them. If you need to, you know, stop and take a breath or something, you can do that and then just, that's fine. You do not have to play what's written. You can improvise or you can play what's written. Or you can start with what's written and jazz it up a little bit. That's okay too. Add a little grace note here and there, whatever, whatever you feel, okay? It's all fair game. It's only two measures, so we don't expect you to compose a concerto here. It's just two measures, okay? Let's try it now from D to E, and you can keep your microphone on mute. This is no pressure. We're just experimenting. We're going to play from D to E again. If you're not soloing, go ahead and um, play the backgrounds, okay? All right. Here we go. This is starting a little bit before D, so I'll let you know when we're at D. Here's D. Olivia. Andrew. Jamie. Christian. Zane. I have a question. Yes, Andrew. On the downbeat of 79, do we have a hit? Because we have like a solo written in, but I heard a hit in the background. Yeah, so um, the downbeat of 79, you should have a note on beat one. Okay, because it's in like the solo cue. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. So everybody who's not soloing, in measures 78 and 79, you should, you should have bop, bop. So you should have something on beat one of 78 and then something on beat one of 79. You actually have quarter notes there, okay? It's kind of hard to tell what's the solo and what's written, but that's what's written. Make sense? So you should have... Um, can I talk about the real quick there? About what? We don't, have, we don't have a thing. We don't have an actual note written in measure seventy nine for us. Okay. Um, but if you want us to play a note there, violas, that would be a C natural, or it's a low two. So it's going to be a D flat to C natural. Yeah. Um, also, Alex. Um, ben wrote me back and said that that note that we thought was supposed to be an F is really an F sharp as it's written. Um, we can look at that later, but he seemed to think that that chord had a, a, a plus nine and uh, a regular third, and I don't know if that's actually the case, but we'll look at that in a little bit. Don't let me forget, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's try that section one more time then, now that you guys see how short those two measures really are. You can play over the hits. I don't care if you're, you, you're over, you know, you start early or whatever, but you only get those two bars, so don't hang over into the next person's solo, okay? It's like, ba, 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 da, dee, da, that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> or, da, da, ba, da, 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 that's it. Okay? All right. Let's try it again. I'm going to start a few before that. All right, here we go. D. Olivia. Andrew. Jamie. Christian. Good. 
Let's do now um, at E, we'll play these measures here in a second. And then going into F, there's a two bar solo break for whoever's gonna solo at F. This is a 16 bar solo that I'd like to just give, like we have three 16 bar solos here. We have one at F, one at G, and one at H. I think they're all 16. Yeah, they're all 16. So who, I need three soloists that wanna take long solos, 16 bars. That's not really long, but it's long, the longest ones in here. Maybe some people with some jazz experience. Landon, I know you wanted one, right? Yep. So, Landon, who else wants one? I guess I could do that as well, Sean. Can awesome. You? Gavin, thank you. And then one more. One more person with some jazz experience. Maybe. So who's maybe? That's that's me. Who's me? Uh, Ian, sorry. Ian, sorry. Okay. I was, like, looking around on my screen. i got three pages going here. Okay, Ian. So let's do this. Ian. Um, yeah. Let's see. Trying to look at how these breaks are organized. Let's do this. Gavin, why don't you take the first solo, okay? And Gavin, that means you get a two bar solo break going into F, okay? Which means play something really in time, lay down the time on that solo break, okay? All right. You can work it out ahead of time. Usually people will kind of work out what they're going to do on a solo break ahead of time so that they just play with really great time, even if it's just eighth notes or quarter notes, whatever you do, just really great time. So we're going to give Gavin, he's going to start the solo two bars before F, and he's going to solo all the way to G, all right? And then at G, Ian, why don't you take that solo, okay? So, Ian, you're going to solo from G until H. So, Ian, Sounds the, good. the bar before H is a solo break. That's where Landon's actually going to come in. So, don't okay. carry, like, make that, you can play a note in that bar or something, but don't keep going into the top of the next form. Let, okay, let so Landon step on your feet in that measure and take over, okay? So, make sure I end my idea, uh before before h i mean look a significant portion before h so they have breathing room ian if it were me yeah it, I, I would end my solo with i would line i would play that with the band okay you know, the orchestra there i would play my solo and just end it like that and then let landon take that one measure lead in, into his solo Okay, got it. Okay, that's what I would do. Awesome. And then Landon, you're of course going to start the bar before H, okay? And you get H to I. And Landon, you're the build-up. I think you just froze there. Landon, you're the build-up into kitchen implements. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so... Yeah, so however you build up and send off to a random kitchen instrument groove, that's what you're that's what you're going for, okay? I'll, I'll do my best. Okay, I know you will. It'll be great. Okay, cool. So now that we got that figured out, backgrounds, everybody else plays the backgrounds, okay? All right. Let's go back to Let's go back to the beginning. I'll call out rehearsal letters when we get there, okay? But do all the backgrounds if you're not soloing. And let's do the whole thing from the top with the lights and everything, okay? So go ahead, take your instrument apart a little. Turn your lights off. Go in the hallway or wherever you're starting from. Yeah, I'm here. You guys here? All right. Make yeah. sure you Great. Make sure you're on mute. Can everybody see my screen a little bit? All right. Here we 
we go. This is so much fun. Okay. Let's start. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Snitching in the kitchen. Get your camera turned on here. Camera turned on. You're gonna hear four beats of click, and then you'll clap. Two, three, four, clap. Two, three. Ah. implements whatever spatulas or forks or whatever <laughs> there you go whatever you got uh-huh spoons <laughs> yep whatever you found in your kitchen and this is where you're gonna start grooving you're just gonna feel the beat and play something that fits over the beat don't just play random stuff play something that grooves so I want to see heads bobbing. I want to see you move into the music. Show me you're feeling it. Not just playing some random stuff, okay? I want to see some, you know, a little bit of grooving, okay? A little dancing. It doesn't have to look cool. You just have to, you have to feel the beat, okay? <laughs> All right, so we're going to start a little bit before that. How'd the solos go? Did you do okay on your solos? All right, cool. We're going to start just a little bit before I, so that you, um, actually, let's start all the way at H. We'll give, give, um, Landon another go at his solo here. We're going to start right on H. As soon as you get done with your backgrounds, I would mark it in my music right there at the end of 39. Put down horn, pick up soon, or whatever it is. 
Christy Christian's writing it in. That's because he's a professional. Olivia's writing it in. All right, here we go. Starting right at H, backgrounds and soloists. H2, ready, play. <laughs> transition into J really smoothly, okay? We have, yep, still 16 bars between I and J. So this time I want you to groove and I'm going to do a countdown going into J for you, okay? Now remember when we get to J we're singing. Remember your, your pitches? <laughs> I'm not saying that. Do we need to listen to that thing of... I bet we, we should listen to that the Zane stuff. Again. Can you Can you play each one for us? Here's the, here's the first. Wait, never mind. I forgot to transpose weight. <laughs> snitching in the kitchen, snitching in the kitchen, snitching in the kitchen, snitching in the kitchen. Got your note? Ish? What's that? You need to hear it again? All right, we good? Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to start right, let's start right at J just so we can get the singing and then we'll put it back together. Okay. This is right on J. Right at J. Here we go. How'd you do it? How'd you do on it? Did you sing the notes okay? He plays it. I mean, it's played on the track. So if you listen, you should be able to hear your note. But just sustain. Remember, wherever you come in, you got to sustain that that line. Okay, let's put it into context. So you're rocking out on your kitchen implements, and then you jump to the singing part. If you're a bass, you have to come in right in at J. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Let's groove out at I. Here we go. Right at I. Here we go. Here's I, two, ready, and. Did you catch the the thing at J? 
I didn't because I forgot that we were in cut time there. So if you did, you did better than I did. So I is still in cut time. Let's try it again for me. I'll say it's for me because it really is. I. Here we go. I, two, ready, and. <laughs> record sound starts before J. One, two, three, four, five, six bars in cut time. Did you hear that? So if you get lost when you're grooving away, just remember that that's, that happens there. In measure 151, one, that's where you hear the, the record being scratched. I would write that in my music because I'm not going to remember that. I would write it down. Kate's writing it down. Kate's a professional. He's a professional artist, too. All right. We're going to work on the instrumental part at K later, but I, I just want to do this one time from the beginning, and then, well, maybe we can do that at the end. I'll let you break into sectionals right now, and then we'll run the whole thing from the beginning up to letter K after sectionals, okay? All right, let's break into sectionals. You guys are doing a great job. Is this fun? Nadia, did you raise your hand? Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, no problem. Hold on a second. Let me send you all the link to this track um, because it's unlisted since it's, you know, random internet people to have it. So, here it is in the chat. Will the um, video that we make with Snitching in the Kitchen be public? Yeah, that'll be public. Yeah, I get to be famous. Yeah, you will. You're gonna go viral. Actually, honestly, it probably will because Ben Taylor's kind of famous and this is kind of a big deal what we're doing, so. So yeah, if you uh, normally don't practice your music, practice for this. <laughs> Especially like this piece. What's that? I love big deals. You what, Mark? I can't hear you. I like big deals. Oh, good. You like big deals. That's good. This is a big deal. <laughs> they knew what a DVD was, Olivia. They didn't know what a CD was. <laughs> CD. But good call. Yeah, you guys don't know what the record scratching thing is, do you? If that's what the DJs do, you know? They, they scratch the records. Thank you for my whole thing. All right. Breaking into break <laughs> into sectional sound. All right, it's going to take me a minute to assign these, but as soon as you get your invitation, you can go. Don't we only have, like, 15 minutes for sectional? Uh, yeah, 15, 20 minutes, but, you know, it'll be beneficial, I'm sure. Yeah. We just had a lot of stuff we needed to get through. You know how it goes. All right. When you get your invitation, you can go ahead. You want us to maybe talk about the optional choreography thing in F, like for you, the both sections? Sure, you can, especially if you want to organize something within your sectional. That would be awesome. Yeah, thank you.
Kate, you are on second violin, right? Okay. And Lauren is cello, is that correct? on iPhone. Oh, that's okay. There you go. Um, you put us in the cello category, but we're violins. Oh, I was thinking it was another Lauren. Okay, my bad. Sorry about that. Uh, hold on. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll move you. Um, 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 oh, oh, crap. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Too many people are asking for my help right now. I'm sorry. Hold on. Here we go. First violins? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes? Uh, Gavin isn't a saxophone in for this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright. Good time. I was having fun uh, socializing. I'm sure you were. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> no worries. Why are there so many people still in here? Did you guys not oh, no, get your on, invitations? You know, I got my invitation. I was wondering because I'm joining on my laptop because uh -huh. I joined with my phone, but my phone was at like 10%. Yeah. And I've been charging it, but it's well, like Zoom is really power hungry, so it drained it to like 3% even while it's charging. Yeah. And so uh, I was wondering if you could put me into the breakout room on my laptop so that way I'm able to charge enough so that way I can do the mm -hmm. final run with my phone. Yeah, that's fine. The Just... laptop is the one that I have uh, my video on right now. Okay, so... There you go. Did you get Thank it? Thank you. All yeah, right. I did. Thank okay, you. Okay, cool. And Lauren, did you get your invitation to the first violin room? No. Oh, it says you got one. Um, let me move you to another room and then I'll move you back, okay? Let's try that. Okay. All right, did you get the invitation now? No, we still didn't get any invitation. That's weird. It says it's sending it to you. Try logging out and then log back in. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like, leave and then come back? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me try this again for you. Okay, I got it. Okay, cool. Have fun. Okay, thanks. No problem. Hey, you guys doing okay? 
Braxton's not here, so I was like, yeah. I just took over. I mean, you're wearing the shirt, so you might as well. I figured that you would, so is that okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yep, no problem. All right, bye. Bye. Hi, everybody. Nope, not, not texting her. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there were a bunch of fires to put out, so I'm here. Okay, how we doing? <laughs> doing pretty good. Good. I have a percussion teacher coming to teach you guys next week, just so you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come this week, so you're stuck with me again, but... Next week, so you'll have Chris Parker next week working with you. Yes. Oh, oh, my friend who's at the jazz ensemble told me she really liked him. Cool. Yeah, I like him too. He's amazing. He's also he also plays low brass instruments like really well and also saxophones. I don't know how he does all that and percussion, so what's that? What? No? Okay. Alright. Um why don't we go through this and just make sure everybody knows what they're doing. I know we went over this before. Are, are, do you have any questions about what you're playing where before we get started? Martonio, Marcelino, you guys are good? I'm good. Cool. Awesome. Heather, you good? Yep. Awesome. Okay. Great. Let's try... Let's go from the beginning, not the beginning, beginning, just like A, until, let's just go like letter to letter, and I want you to unmute and play with the recording. Is that going to be weird for you? <laughs> okay, great. I'll take that as a no. Okay. So go ahead and unmute, that way I can listen to everybody. I'm going to start a couple, a little bit before A. All right, here we go. This is right before A. A. So I can't even see what you're doing. Oh, Can you turn the I, didn't, video on? I didn't realize it was off. Hey, there you are. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Um, Marcelino, how'd you do on that, um, the bass thing? Do, 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 that thing? Cool. Okay, good. All right, let's try it again from A to B, and then we'll go on. I'll start a little before that just to give you a little heads up here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hey. I thought you said B, so it kind of threw me off. But oh, okay. Like, so we are starting at A this time, or are we just starting at Yeah, B? we were we were starting at A, but now we're gonna go to B. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go to B now, and I'll start right before it, so you can hear the pickups going into it. Here we go, right before B. Hey. 
C. All right, how'd you do? Good. Good. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, good. Good, good. Marcelino, you good with your little part? Okay. I'm just having trouble hearing your part, which is why I keep asking you, okay? I'm just going to count on you to tell me if it's not okay. I tried to have a phone, but um, it didn't work. Like, it couldn't time. No worries. Next Wednesday, okay? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go on at C then. I'm going to start just a little bit before C. Here we go. C. <laughs> That was D there. So at D, the feel changes. Ba da 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 ba ba, and we gotta give we gotta give the breaks to the soloists. So ba da 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 da. And Heather, what are you playing at D? You're playing those tong things. Can you yep. just can you just do tongs regular like do 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 on the on the like quarter notes? Yeah. Okay, because it'll sound like a hi hat for us. You were doing the shaker as the hi hat before, weren't you? What? No, I was doing the shaker. You were doing the shaker, um, but you're doing the hit the hitting shaker, right? Yeah. And she's doing the shaker shaker. Yeah, I, um, B through, I guess, up till D, I play the shaker thing. Let me hear your snaps. Where? The D. Let me hear you snap on the downbeats. Let me hear you shake on the downbeats. Yeah, but I'm hearing chukka, chukka, and I just want to hear chick, chick, chick. Can you just go chick, 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 chick? So you're going chicka, chicka. I want to hear chick, chick. Yeah, left, right. Is that what you want? I think it is what I want here at D. Okay. I think I think we'll have to do we'll do the snappers at like another section, but I think at D we need <laughs> chick, chick, left. Right, however you want to do it. Left to right is probably a good way to do it. Yeah, front. Well, when you do it that way, one way sounds heavier than the other. But it needs to be real, real, like, pers like, ch 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 Can you do it in real steady time for me? Show me in real steady time. I think that's what we need right there. Okay. We just don't want to hear a bunch of little crumbs moving at different times. We want to hear it. You know what I mean? Like real precise. Yep. To try to simulate a hi hat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me hear it. I think that's it. Let me hear you do it with the recording at D. Just you, Heather, just you and the recording. Here we go. Right before it. D. <laughs> keep it right in time. And then, and then do da da. You can put it down and pick up your choppers or whatever. Okay, I think those would be good to have at the next section. Okay. Your choppers. <laughs> tongs. They're tongs. They're choppers. choppers. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do that section at D. I'm gonna. I gotta broadcast everybody that they have like two minutes left. Okay. Hold on a second. Holy cow! It's already seven thirty. I know. All right, so let's go at D. Everybody's in. Ready? Here we go. Ready? 
Here we go. D. lead into the solo there. Okay? Cool. You guys good? Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to the main room. That was the shortest sectionals ever, wasn't it? Woo! <laughs> really productive, though. Yeah, it was. It was good. It always is. Mm -hmm. sectional short and sweet uh, yeah. yeah did you get some stuff accomplished yes awesome cool all right let's run through snitching in the kitchen from the top go ahead and take your instruments apart put your instruments in the random spots that you had them in make sure your kitchen utensil is handy take your instrument apart turn your light off go turn to your off. starting so, location i understand now Good, good. And go ahead and mute your microphones, please. All right. Make sure you're muted. Here we go. From the beginning. Make sure you can see my screen share. All right, turn your camera around so it's not in selfie mode. Here we go from the beginning. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Snitching in the kitchen. Get your camera turned on here. You're gonna hear four beats of click, and then you'll clap.
just so we can catch the singing, okay? <laughs> All right, you got to you got to remember where you're going so you don't miss the most important part, right? All right, here we go. This is starting a few bars before I today, copy that link I put in the chat. Copy that link. That's your link to this recording on YouTube. So copy that link because you can't find it on our YouTube channel. It's unlisted. you got to take that link. Oh, I found it on the YouTube. You did? It's yeah. unlisted. You shouldn't be able to. Uh, when you go to playlists and then the orchestra recordings, both the recording track and then the part with on the um, they should both be unlisted. I mean, they are unlisted. I just checked them. Maybe it's just because you have the playlist as public that it's on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's, can I click on them? Yeah, it says, um, it says unlisted, but if you go through the... Yeah. I don't know why you can find it. You shouldn't be able to, but okay. <laughs> That's a flaw. All right. Um, just a reminder that Rasan Barber is joining us for Masterclass this Friday. Please be there. He's an amazing jazz saxophonist, good friend of mine, famous guy, played with Kelly Clarkson and lots of people. I can't pronounce their names. And don't make fun of me anymore. Um, um, let's see, what else? Oh, um, congratulations, by the way, to Kate Lynham and uh, Kelly Okamoto, who won the art competitions for the t-shirt designs. Super cool, lots of good submissions, so thank you to everybody that submitted. Um, those, so we got, we finally, we had somebody lined up to do the shirts, they backed out, we have somebody else now. 
So we're going to set out the shirt order forms probably tonight, actually. We need you to order your shirts by Friday if you want to order shirts, okay? Because we got to get these going real quick. Um, you don't have to pay by Friday. You have like another week or so to send in the money, but you got to order it by Friday, okay? So tell your parents. Great. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints? Braxton isn't here to take them because it was his birthday yesterday, so I'll take the complaints today. Okay, great, no complaints. Wonderful work today, guys. I will see you all at the master class on Friday or at Jazz Band tomorrow. All right, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.